Peace and love. Welcome. Come on in. Welcome to the dynasty. My beautiful ones, let's get into this energy. Diamonds. Yeah. I said diamonds. <laughs> My beautiful Libras. This tea talk into Roman Empress is open for all the energies today. Uh-huh. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and have some tea with the other zodiacs, all right? Beautiful ones that are following, that have Libra in their chart, that are cross watchers. Everyone is welcome. This is a general reading today. And just be sure to take what is yours and to leave what is not okay beautiful ones so yeah my diamonds let's talk about it grab your tea uh-huh i'm sipping on peach blueberry oolong tea uh-huh yeah i kind of mixed it up this morning and it tastes really good so get your water get your tea get whatever it is you're sipping on all right it is early morning over here uh-huh and let's see what time do we have here mm, i don't even believe this time is right let me look and see mm. okay yeah so it's 7 17 uh-huh it's 7 17 beautiful ones happy Happy Sunday. Mm -hmm. mm. Welcome to another edition of Tea Talk and Tarot with Empress 444. Happy Sunday. Beautiful ones, I did not do a Saturn Day Night Live last night because I was asleep getting that good sleep and this energy that is going on. It's some heavy hidden energy out here, beautiful ones. I don't know if you are all feeling it, but I am feeling it and I know how to alchemize with it. I've been resting. When I'm not recording on my off time, I am resting. Yeah, cause I know it's gonna be a busy year. We're just knocking down the first part of it. Mm -hmm. So this year is about to get real busy for us if we are operating in alignment. Mm -hmm. It's going to get busy for everyone. This is why I opened the read up because the energy that is out here, it's about making decisions on what it is you're doing moving forward and who it is you're doing it with. Mm -hmm. So beautiful ones, let's go ahead. Let's get into this energy. Let's see where things take us. Uh-huh. And uh, yeah, let's just see what happens in the energy. So remember, this is a general reading. Take what is yours and simply leave what is not. I am protected by my host of angels, ancestors, and spirit guides as I channel these messages. I ask that my collaborative is protected as well. I'm starting off today with my makeshift. Uh -huh. Now, I made this a couple of weeks ago. Well, actually, about a week ago. And... I put it up. I put it in the bag. <clears throat> and I said, let me use this for tea talking to roll today. And when I'm channeling and I'm making my makeshift cards, I don't always remember the cards that I make. <laughs> Sometimes I look at the cards and I say, I wrote that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> However, yeah. Some of these messages may resonate with you, your person, or your situation. Mm -hmm. Take what is yours. Simply leave what is not. 
we're definitely going to have fun because that's what we do over here. Let's talk about it. Cards for the collaborative spirit. Give us cards for the collaborative. What does the collaborative need to know as they start their week off? I will be back, of course, with your weekly forecast report for Libra. Uh-huh. And I want to thank everyone that is commenting, that is liking on these individualized zodiacs um, with the energy of Libra. <clears throat> this really helps me. This really helps the channel for me to know whom to cater to because the these different things, they show up in the logistics and the analytics with TikTok. But for me to get the feel of the energy of who my Libras are interacting with energetically is powerful to me. I'm seeing that you all deal with Scorpio energy a lot, okay? And that cause me to take more heed to the energy of Scorpio during our readings, all right? So whatever zodiacs I am reading when I'm doing the Libra with paired with another energy, and I'm also going to do Libras dealing with Libras, okay? It's hard. I've tried that before, and it just does not happen for me, okay? But <laughs> I, yeah, I just can't do a Libra guy. I'm sorry. But I have dealt with a Libra Venus, okay? And that's the same. But depending on what it is their sun sign is, it can be a, uh, yeah, it can be a lot, beautiful ones, okay? So I just want to thank you for, you know, the likes, the shares when it comes to letting me know and me tapping into your energy. Yeah. I love it. You know I'm an inspector gadget of a reader, okay? Because I'm channeling. I'm prophetizing. I'm mixing all these different energies and elements, the cosmos, everything in together at once. And the specifics really just give me the clarification, all right, that I feel already, right? Uh-huh. So thank you, all right? And again, if you are entering to win in the giveaway, don't forget to put win in the comment, okay? You'll be able to enter up until the 10th of April, beautiful ones. I opened it up from the 6th to the 10th, and... I'll announce the winner on the 11th. All right, beautiful ones. So let's talk about it. What's in the energy for my Libras? Cards for Libra, Spirit. Spirit, give me cards for Libra. Cards for Libra. Cards for Libra. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. More cards, Spirit. I'm going to leave it right there. One more. Okay. All right. Let's see what came out. <laughs> Literally, let's see. Because, oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I looked at one of these cards when I was shuffling before I came on. I said, oh my goodness. Ooh, and I'm channeling. Ain't no telling what's going to happen. Mm. Okay, let's talk about it. We got France, okay? France may be of significant. You may be from France. You may have heritage in France. I do, okay? A rich heritage in France. You may want to visit France, okay? Tarot reader comes out. You may be a tarot reader, okay? You may need a tarot reader. Trust is growing. Your trust is growing. Uh-huh. 
You're able to open your heart up more is what I'm getting. Secret social society, okay? So there's a secret social society that's involved in this energy. Spoiled sweet. Somebody spoiled sweet and not rotten. Uh-huh. The letter P, okay, may be of significance. The letter P. June. June keeps coming out. In the other decks as well. Something significant is happening in June. That's for sure. I feel a lot of good energy happening in June. The number four is here. You could be born in April. Uh-huh. And the number four is connected to your frequency. You may always see fours. You may be surrounded by fours as well. I'm going to share with you all in one of our tea talks my significance connection with four, with fours in general, okay? North Carolina is here. You could be from North Carolina. Uh huh. New Orleans is here. You might have roots in New Orleans. House or apartment shopping. Some of you could be house or apartment shopping right about now. They miss your energy. Someone misses you. Why, of course. Cleansing the bloodline. Yeah, that's what we out here doing. We're cleansing the bloodline. Wild sex. Ooh, is that how we do it? Yeah. Somebody is due for some wild sex, okay? That's what I'm getting. You make them very nervous, whoever it is. Someone's intimidated. October is here. Yeah. My Libra babes. Mm-hmm. Also Scorpio. Uh-huh. Yeah. In October, T. The letter T may be of significance. New high priestess gifts. Yeah, someone's developing some new high priestess gifts. Mm. I don't know if you guys can see these. These letters are in gold on this pink. I don't know if it shows up, but new high priestess gifts is what you have. Occultism life path 333. Uh-huh. So someone has a life path, three, three, three. And you also may be called into occultism as your life path. The number three, three, three represents <clears throat> that energy. Let me sip some tea, everyone. So occultism the numbers 333 tie into occult practices. So if you're interested in different esoteric practices or occultism to degrees to where you want to study deeply the energy and really the mathematical sciences that lie beneath all of these different metaphysical teachings, you may... Be on the path of 333. Three, three. You may be seeing 333s three, three, as well, okay? Abundance and wealth is here. Soul tie. Strong chemistry. Secret addiction hidden, okay? Someone in the energy has a secret addiction hidden. 55 may be a significance. Someone is bougie. Uh-huh. Yeah, bougie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, aren't we? 1990 is here. 1990. Okay, the year 1990 may be of significance. Wedding by the water. Some of you may want a wedding by the water. Sexy is here. Mm-hmm. Possibly a sexy wedding by the water. The letter T comes out again. We have T again. 
Royal bloodline and connection is here. Factory worker. Someone could work in a factory. Okay. So if any of those cards have significance to you, apply it to your story. Okay. Because you're being called into the energy of it. I'm going to start off with the Kipper. Mm-hmm. Let's go into the Kipper energy. I'm feeling like, you know, getting a little into the house. <laughs> See what's going on in the house. I love how the Kipper takes you straight to the house and finding out who's there, who's home. What's really going on in the house? Give me these energies for my zodiacs. Give the collaborative the energy. Thank you, Spirit. Mm. They came out. Oh, okay. I have them flipped over. I was going to say. <laughs> Let's see. All right. More card spirit. Hmm. Okay. Two more spirit. Toil and labor that's out here. So definitely someone's been working hard on something, okay? Mm hmm Toil and labor. This is tedious work. This is hard work. This is something you have to pay attention to as well. Or it could get dangerous is what I'm saying. High honors is here. And this is about someone that, of course, is held in high honors wealthy man is here there's a wealthy man that's out here somebody with the chochos uh, king of pentacles energy and we're in the family room today straight off the bat we got the family room here mm -hmm. and the community the community is here so these are people <laughs> I'm going to say it how it came across in my mind. But these are people from up off the streets, okay? Uh-huh. That are really part of the community, but they were invited into the home of someone. If you look in the background, you can see that there is a server and another gentleman behind him. So the, the community being invited into the home of possibly a wealthy businessman is what I'm hearing. So these are people that get together with someone who is a higher up, considered a higher up is what I'm getting with this wealthy man here. We got a distant horizon. Someone's looking to make a trip. Let's get into it. Spirit, give me the toil and labor. Your overall energy is a journey. So definitely someone is making a trip with this distant horizon. And it could be someone across water or someone that, you know, you can even travel by train. But it's definitely... It's going to be purposeful. Mm-hmm. Give me your toil and labor. Thank you, Spirit. Mm 
Okay. Yeah. This was the purposeful when I saw purposeful. A child is here. So toil and labor is here. Now, the child is here. Either this is someone's child or someone has a child. There's a child in your energy. Or this is someone of innocence, okay? This card also represents innocence. This could be you hard at work being an innocent person when it comes to a main male. Mm-hmm. Hmm. High honor. High honor. For the collaborative. A mature man. So there's a mature man that's held in high honor. Mm -hmm. And someone's in despair. Looks like they're out of work. The sign says not hiring. I split the deck. There is concern. The wealthy man spirit. <laughs> There's concern. Wow. Mm hmm. There's a wealthy man that is concerned. And a mature man that's in high honor. Family room. Mm. Judication and a gift. Someone's going to court and they're looking to receive a gift from it, okay? Definitely somebody's being brought before a judge. Whether this is spiritual or in the 3D, okay? There's a gift that comes from this judication, this judgment that's been passed down. And for some, it could involve a child. For some, it could involve you innocently minding your business at work, okay? Working hard. Community is here. Give me community spirit. All right. Wow. Look how they flipped over. In the community, there's some unexpected income and some expectations of it when it comes to a marriage, okay? So there's a union that is supposed to bring forth some unexpected income in the community. Hmm. Someone has expectations of being a bride, getting some unexpected income. That's what I'm getting. And this community, there's a community of energies that know about this energy. Uh-huh. Look, <clears throat> because the overall energy is courtship. People see when you're dating someone or they know energetically when someone's interested in someone as well, right? Hmm. Distant horizon. Distant horizon. For the collaborative. Okay, we got two to come out. And then we're going to push on. It's a coffin with a false person. Mmm. Wow. This combo is wild. That is wild. So what I'm being told, beautiful ones, is it's the end, okay? And this is what we're getting with this energy. This total eclipse and retrograde and all of this energy that's happening. I mean, there's so much going on. This is the alignment of the sun, the earth, and the moon, okay? So there is a lot going on. And whether this death, as sad as it may be, this is the year that there will be some deaths that happen, okay? And this is on a realistic level. Mm -hmm. And blessings and protection to my collaborative, all right? And anyone in your connecting view, but we can't stop what life has already, you know, has in motion for people in general. But Coffin is here with a false person. And I'm also being told that there will be the end of 
these falsehoods of people who are just up to no good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And distant horizon. Someone could have traveled to you. Somebody could have came to you, okay? Uh-huh. And this energy was a false person. And there's being a death of some sort being put to this energy, okay? I'm going to sip some tea on that one. We are in our eclipse energy. So we're going to act like we know around here. Because the overall energy is the main female, all right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's the main female in this role that possibly the coffin is here for. All right? Mm-hmm. Wow. I split the deck. Official person is here. And that would be my energies that are divine, right? You're the official person. Let's go ahead. Let's get into it. Mm. I want to tap into... I'm going to pull some of these here. Tea leaves. Uh -huh. I'm going to pull a few tea leaves. We're going to get all the tea today. <laughs> all the tea. Uh-huh. Let's pull some of these tea leaves and see what comes out in the energy. For my beautiful collaborative. What is going on in the energy? Spirit cards for the collaborative. For the collaborative. Collaborative energy. Collaborative energy. the messages and we're going to get into the tarot hmm. goldfish is here increase in material wealth or spiritual growth mm -hmm. many of you are undergoing a spiritual growth in this energy as well. Teapot is here. Deep friendship with someone of the same sex. Throne. Po position of authority, okay? There you go. Official. High honor. Throne. Standing on your throne. Sitting on your throne. That's what I'm getting. You're being called as a collaborative to sit on your throne, no matter what's going on, okay? Fire is here. Strong emotion, passionate love or hate. They either love you or they hate you, however it goes. It's fire, uh-huh, because it's strong, okay? Uh-huh, it gets hotter than a teapot is what I'm hearing. Cobweb. Protected from negative forces beyond your control. You're protected. The cobweb is the ancestors. Yeah. Spirit guides, your host of angels. Sit on your throne. Your royal bloodline throne. Bull is here. Do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. Mm-hmm. Sit on your throne. 
Dogs is here. Getting together with friends, okay? You might want to get together with some friends. Get together with your dog. Uh-huh, yeah. Your BFF, whoever it is, okay? Reach out. And even if you don't get together in a physical sense, since spread some love, okay? August is here. Something significant about the month of August. Mm-hmm. Heart is here. And this is fall time. You know, we start to get into this energy of fall. So something significant about August, but heart is here. Love, deep affection, and caring. Could happen around August for some of you. Diamond, you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. Now, you'll be receiving or giving. Mm, I like it. Vulture is here. Depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. Some of you may have a worry of someone being against you. This is a vulture energy, okay? And vultures, they see people as prey. And things that look in despair or give off a scent or odor of fear and anxiety, that calls in the vultures. So spirit is asking you to ground yourself, okay? so that you don't give off a scent. No matter what you're giving, you know, going through. And grounding helps you and supports you with any type of depression as well. Mountain Road is here. You are on the road to success. And this is why you have to stay grounded and on your throne at the same time. Ground yourself on your throne while you're on your throne is what i'm hearing table because everyone can't sit with you and that is the truth yeah everyone cannot sit with you collaborative hard work ahead because when you come to the table you drawing out plans and maps of how things go it's hard work when you sit at the table you're just not sitting there getting served. What are you bringing to the table is what I'm hearing, okay? Grasshopper. Situations in the balance that require careful handling. There's situations in the balance. Something is being balanced out and it requires careful handling. And it shows a grasshopper carefully balancing themselves out on a leaf. Crib is here. Birth or conception of a child or enterprise. Some of you are growing a baby in the <laughs> works. Or some of you are giving birth to a new baby when it comes to your business, your enterprise. Ear is here. Good news. Some good news. Expect to hear some good news. Tortoise is here. Slowly but surely getting ahead. Uh-huh. Yeah, the tortoise, the turtle that won the race. Chair field. The chair is filled, <laughs> beautiful ones. Someone new is entering your life. Many of you, the chair is filled, okay? So you may not know who's sitting in it yet, but it's been filled, okay? This ink pot is here. Problems to be resolved. Whatever it is you may be going through with contracts or some type of negotiations, there's something about you putting your name down on 
the line. That's going to resolve some problems, okay? Your signature would be required. Shield is here. You need to defend yourself. Yeah, you're being told to stand on what it is that you believe in. Like, don't back down. This is being reiterated a, a couple of times in these cards. Stork is here. News of a birth are a new business opportunity. Here we go again with that. Definitely this year, you guys are branching out when it comes to your business opportunities and possible birth. Some of you may be giving birth, may become a grandparent, may be just in this energy of all around creation around you. Okay, this is Empress energy that I'm seeing. So we got the stork here. Mm-hmm. Wow. Constantly giving birth, the crib and the stork. Someone's business is going to take off this year. Dog, close up. Pleasures with a close friend. Yeah, give it your dogs. You're being told to connect. Some of you may need to connect. Now, I know many of us have done a our losing friends have cut off energies who we know that we should have let go probably a long time ago. But there is someone significant. Don't forget, your, your dog could be your grandmother, okay? That's my dog. That's my girl. That's my friend. You might need to take grandma out for some brunch or bring her something and sit with her. This is spending time. With close friends, family, people who mean something to you. Those are the people who you share and invest your time in. Because success is here for you. You've evidently done this in many a lifetimes is what I'm hearing. Been that one that people look to to support them. Continue to be who you are, beautiful ones. And don't let you know, life's experiences take you away from that authenticity of sharing your time with people who you love and care about truly and genuinely. Mm -hmm. We're going to tap into the mystical forest today. Uh -huh. Cards for the collaborative. for the collaborative spirit tell the story tell their stories tapping into all of this energy <laughs> has really opened up some realms when it comes to these, the Libra, dealing with the different zodiacs. It really has. I like it. I enjoy it. I'm excited to see whose zodiac will I continue on a regular basis to hit up mm -hmm, with the Libra energy. Venus is love, okay? So it is what it is. hit all of the zodiacs in these readings anyway but to be able to give it more like a specific read <laughs> like that I really like getting into the energy I do I know it's more specific for you and it narrows things down and gives you a sense of individualism as well. It's really what I wanted to do with those. And I will be doing earth signs today and air signs. I think I'm going to teeter-totter between the two today, okay? And get those out the way. Mm -hmm. As we continue to rotate and I see exactly... 
zodiacs, Libras are really <laughs> digging. <laughs> Cards for Libra and the collaborative. All signs, all signs. Thank you. Mm. Six of Cups, someone from the past. Collaborative. One of Cups. Mm hmm. Ace of Cups. Collaborative. A page of Pentacles. And the Queen of Swords. So we got water, earth, and air out here. It's B. The world is here. Okay, beautiful ones. Your overall energy is the moon. Uh-huh. Illusions, secrets, mysteries. Let's talk about it. We got six of cups out here. Someone from the past, one of cups, has a lot of love for you. A cup that overflows. Page of Pentacles is here, and this is about... Possibly someone bringing some type of good news, some type of solid offer of some sort, okay? We'll tap into this energy. But the Queen of Swords is here. There's been some boundaries that have been set. And cycles that have closed out with this world card here, okay? Uh-huh. Somebody is over and done and ready for the next turn. On the wheel, Wands is here. The Eight of Wands is here. This is some fast communication, some quick changes that are coming in. And somebody really wants to make this synergy happen because we got the Magician here. And he's whipping up some stuff in the lab, as you can see. Sips tea. Strength is here. Mm -hmm. And this is how you're standing. In your strength. We got air communication with this magician. Leo energy with the strength. As well as more fire with this eight of wands. Hmm. So, definitely these boundaries are here and it's all about some love. It's a love thing is what I'm hearing. Mm-hmm. And the world is an earth sign, beautiful one. So the world is representing earth element. So that's Capricorn, Taurus, our Virgo as well. Give me the Six of Cups, Spirit. Six of Cups for the collaborative. A king of swords. Aquarius energy. But there's a king of swords energy here. Hmm. This is who's from the past. This is someone who could be held in high honors, right? Depends on how they operate. Hmm. Their overall energy is the judgment. Synergy is under judgment. So let's let's tap into the King of Swords. Tell us more. King of Swords. Thank you. A Queen of Cups. So someone was a queen, a, a King of Swords to a Queen of Cups energy. 
Hmm. Possible water placement, right? Hangman is here. Some type of delays or some type of enlightenment. Give me the King of Swords and the Queen of Cups. Thank you, Spirit. A Nine of Wands. Yeah, they don't want to give up in this energy of this queen. This is someone a, is a wounded hero, and it could be a temperance angel who's also in a lab mixing up stuff. Sagittarius energy. Uh huh. This is a King of Swords Aquarius placement that doesn't want to give up in the energy when it comes to possible water placement, but she's a Queen of Cups energy. Mm hmm. You could have that placement or just simply someone is an energy of not wanting to give up on you and your energy. We do have a big cup here. Who's the big cup for? The Ace of Cups, the One of Cups, the One of Cups spirit. It's free. Okay. The Hermit. Mm. So they're in Hermit mode right now. Give us the Hermit spirit. Give us the Hermit. Someone is in love with you and not saying anything. Hmm. They feel left out in the cold. They're watching you though, but they feel left out in the cold. Five of Pentacles. This person could be financially burdened as well. Mm, and a death is here. It's been a death put to something. Someone's going through a rebirth. Something has ended in this energy. I split the deck. A tower is happening, okay? They're going through a tower. People are being shaken off the tree. Off the tree. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm. And looking to expand once they do so. Five of Pentacles, Spirit. Tell us more about the Hermit and the Five of Pentacles. All right. It's a Nine of Pentacles. It's someone who came to you with a solid offer or it looked to be a solid offer, okay? But this energy was in their head with the Seven of Cups, overall energy. They were possibly fed illusions and couldn't make up their mind in this energy. I split the deck. Will of Fortune. You're staying on your path. You're staying on your path. You're in alignment. But this person is in hermit mode. They did come to you with a solid offer. What happened to the solid offer with the Nine of Pentacles spirit? Nine of Pentacles. Yes, please. Okay. What flipped? The moon. It was some lies. Something they didn't want to tell you. Something that they were hiding from you. Mm, the Hierophant. Hmm. Who it is they work with or communicate with? Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. This has to do with a family. Who it is they're connected to. Someone didn't want to expose who it is they're operating with, connected to, work with. It's something that they didn't want you to know about that. Page of Pentacles, Spirit. Page of Pentacles. Okay. The chariot is here. Now we got Pisces energy with the moon. And the Pentacles is earth sign. So... More earth, more fire with this wands out here, nine of wands.
But this Page of Pentacles, we got the chariot here. This is Cancer. So this was a solid offer again that was headed your way. Possible Cancer energy, but our placement. Um, this offer... It's a King of Wands energy. It's someone who is passionate in this energy. Wow. Followed by a King of Cups. I, I see competition straight off the bat. So there's two different solid offers on the table. One came from a King of Cups energy and one comes from a King of Wands energy. This energy that has some type of connection with some type of secret society or some connection with a family of individuals that are connected to some type of spirituality or religion that they don't want you to know that they're dealing with. I believe this is the King of Wands energy, okay? Uh-huh. First card, overall energy. When it comes to this chariot, but this chariot energy is cancer energy, just like this king of cups is cancer energy, all right? There's a cancer energy, um, or just the energy of someone who is a king of cups, who is emotionally fit, right? Who wants to come towards you. But there is a king of wands energy that is here, that has some connection to you being in another connection. This energy is what I'm picking up. Spirit, give me the chariot. Give me the chariot for the collaborative. Give me the chariot. Thank you. Yeah, it's a seven of swords. It's some lies that popped off, okay? Uh-huh, a bunch of lies, a bunch of cheating and thievery. Yeah, you know. Five of cups. Overall energy is they feeling down and out in some type of way about it, all right? Mm-hmm. This is someone in their feels about what it is you got going on collaborative. All right. Let's tap into the Queen of Swords because there's some boundaries that have been put in place. Uh-huh. Queen of Swords is simply not having it. Nah, she not having it. Uh-uh. Okay. So let's talk about it. Let me move my purse. <laughs> All right. So Queen of Swords. Tell us about the Queen of Swords spirit. Queen of Swords in this energy. Mm-hmm. Six of Wands. Mm. Queen of Swords is victorious. She's being seen. She's being noticed, okay? You may have a public platform or you may be just in the public and you're noticed and seen. You look at as victorious. You look like you're winning out here, okay? Six of Wands energy, all right? This is some type of recognition that is happening in your energy. The world. Give us the world. Give us the world. You call us out a cycle with an energy who's still lingering, okay? It's the Ten of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. So someone is having a hard time at work is what it's looking like, okay? It's some burdens with the Ten of Wands here. We have burdens or somebody wanting to put their burdens down. But what I'm seeing is the Eight of Pentacles is you being in your, this is that toil and labor energy that we had. Uh-huh. With the Kippa. Ten of Wands is here. This is burdens and it's not easy. But this Eight of Pentacles that's here. This is your skill set. This is your work. This is your trade. Someone possibly, you know, was in this energy. I'm hearing whatever burdens you were going through when it comes to your work, your occupation. That's over. It's over. So if you were burdened in the area of your job, your work, your occupation, your career... I believe career came out and it's over. You close the cycle on that energy. You closed it. You've been enlightened. Hangman is here. 
you have to sacrifice something or someone. Let's give me the Ten of Wands with the Eight of Pentacles. For the collaborative. Okay. Mm-hmm. A Knight of Wands in the reverse. You know what? I was sitting here shuffling and I don't I don't always want to go straight to that energy, but it is what it is because I always have to follow my first mind and my intuition. So what I was getting while I was talking about this is, you know, someone tried to make it hard at, on the workplace for you or tried to make it hard when it came to your business overall. And what I was thinking is what came out, okay? The same way we saw that. Anywho, the Knight of Wands is here in reverse, okay? For this energy. And it could have been someone you called your lover at one time, okay? Overall energy is lovers. Someone wants to make it hard or wanted to. You close out a cycle on this energy. But this energy wanted to make your day-to-day -day hard on you. They wanted toil and labor in your energy. That's why that child showed up with the toil and labor on top, under it, because you were, you were innocent. You were innocent. And there was a out of control, reckless, daredevil of an energy, Knight of Wands, in the reverse possible fire sign, right? Leo, Sagittarius. I just blanked out, Aries, okay? But someone was trying to make your day-to-day -day hard, all right? Mm. And it was somebody who you was dealing with on the love level. Yeah. Have to cover her up. She bucket naked. I split the deck five of cups. And they have a lot of regret, loss, and grief behind it. Because you close out a cycle on this energy. You did. Give me the eight of wands. Eight of wands for the collaborative. <laughs> Five of Cups. A lot of grief and regret, all right? Somebody wants to tell you that they are regretful, but they don't have to. I feel you already know. But this Eight of Wands here is about fast, quick communication. And somebody in a subconscious mind, whether they picking up a phone or not, letting you know that there's a lot of grief, regret, and loss behind their actions, okay, when it comes to these secrets that they kept to you with this moon energy, all right? And this is water, okay? Six of Cups and the moon, water, Pisces energy, Cancer, Scorpio. Give me the magician. Give me the magician spirit for the collaborative. A page of wands, wow, with a temperance angel. Mm, didn't I say <sighs> this magician whipping up stuff? Uh huh. Here, go, here we go. He always comes out together. This is how I know they whipping up some BS. Okay, somebody's whipping up some BS because it's right below the seven of swords. You got the magician here in the lab. Okay. The temperance angel here in the lab mixing up a concoction, right? And we would want it to bring some balance. It's with the magician, right? And we see they're whipping up whatever it is they're whipping up, okay? We don't know what it's bringing. But with the page of wands, they're creating something that they're very passionate about. So this is a whole lot of alchemy that's happening right now. The Page of Wands is about bringing something to life, into fruitation. And you have these energies, three of them, emphasizing how hard they're working at trying to make this alchemy 
to their benefit is what I'm getting to this energy's benefit. And guess what it did? It caused a tower. Uh-huh. It brought everyone and everything involved down. Mm-hmm. Brought the church down is what I'm hearing. The tower is here. Mm. What's behind the tower? A queen of wands. Yeah, they were going after someone who is business oriented about her business, stays busy, beautiful, drinks her water. Look, they wanted problems, fights, cause, causing uh, some type of competition, wanting to move into the energy. Let's talk about it. Okay, tell us about this magician, the temperance angel, and the page of wands, spirit, for the collaborative. Tell us more. Okay. The Hierophant. Mm-hmm. Religious. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Could be unorthodox, right? Being a magician. The tower is still here at the bottom of the deck, overall energy. Someone tried to play God in your energy. They did. Someone tried to play God, just what I said. And they're under judgment. Split the deck at judgment, okay? They're under judgment. Mm. Give us the strength, spirit. Give us the strength. It's the... Oh, okay. Wasn't even looking, but the strength is here with healing. This is what you had to do, collaborative. You kept the faith. You kept the strength. You kept the hope. And you kept healing. You keep healing is what I'm hearing. You're free from all of this now. The fool is here. Because I'm free. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what I'm hearing. I spit the deck. Five of Wands is here. You free from the people who tried to come up against you with all this slick shit. Lying, thinking that they were in competition with you. Starting chaos and fights in your energy. This card wants to be seen. The sun is here, okay? This is where you're walking. I'm walking on sunshine. Yeah, y'all walking on sunshine right now and staying in the sun, staying in the sun, healing and being in this energy of staying and sitting and grounded on your throne in your strength, beautiful ones. Yeah, that's what's going on. And this is the tea, the talk and the tarot with Empress 444. Beautiful ones, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe. I am Empress 444, and this is the Tarot Dynasty. Peace and love.